Hey, George. My name is... Hallelujah. My name is Auni Itaiwo. <laughs> I just want to give God the glory and to thank our, our daddy for, for the privilege he has given to every one of us here. I think uh, it happens in 2015 to 2016. I was in the Netherlands and I was just on my laptop. Then I came across our daddy Simon. I could not even remember the, the topic. But the only thing I had with that day was just like, a day will come where the old world we had of this colonia. <laughs> that will stay with me forever. So I moved to different places. Then when colonia opened in Abuja, my spirit said to me, that someone you heard that day, that was the minister. And since that day, I've been following every preaching. So uh, fast forward to 2020, I was to move to a club in Germany. And this was the year, what I've been waiting for six years came true for me. So that Sunday, my, my agent called me and said, this season you are going for the preseason for the first time in six years. I said, you have to move it to Monday, that I need to be in a service. So he shipped the ticket to Monday, then I fly to Abuja on Sunday. But before then, I went to my pastor in London. He said to me, Taiwo, I, I know nothing about football. But I know your God has always been with you, who always followed you. So I came to the service on, on Sunday. I was, not, I was unable to meet our, past, our daddy. So the next day, I was privileged to meet him with some family with me. Then the, when he saw me, the first statement he said to me was that he saw a horse running. Then he prayed for the family, and the family was actually waiting for their visa. That same week, they collected their visa, and they are presenting in the UK. I went to the preseason, and my former club called me, and they said, they want me permanent. Then I was a bit sad because the club I have with already gave me what I needed to play with them for the first time in six years. So I have a decision to make, either to stay or to go. Then I said to the club, this time I don't want to go on loan. You have to let me go permanent if you, if, you, if you want me to leave. So they let me go permanent, and that season was the best season of my career. I scored 15 goals, and I was the one that scored the goals that moved the club to the European competition. I came back to the service after the season was over. Then I saw a lot of people testifying. I said, then my spirit said to me, why are you not there? Then I said, I was always shy. <laughs> then I could not come out. Then I said, after this season, I will come back on stage and I will testify to the glory of God. <laughs> Fast forward to this season, the club I was with, they said to me, we are the club in England that want you. We love you, but we think... Is the, best, is the best chance for you. So I moved to England with my family, with everyone. At the beginning, was really tough. I had no idea what was going on. My wife said to me, you stop praying. You don't pray the way you used to do anymore. And that was true. So uh, May 7, I think, Daddy was preaching about the ways of God. I was even angry with my sister that day because she was in my house. Then I didn't want them to know that I'm listening to Colonia because they would laugh at me that I look at you that I'm angry. So I put my earpiece on my phone, and Daddy said, the first statement I had was, that, sir, was just an ordinary man under the influence of God, that everyone should return to the pattern that they used to praise God. That Monday, we had a game in the night. I was on my name from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. My wife was like, come outside, come and eat. I didn't listen. That night, that was the game I played with the easiest seats of my life, and I scored two goals. <laughs> Luckily for me, it was the week for the revival in the UK. Wow. I said to my wife, sorry, these two days I'm not at home. I called Pastor Nile. I said, I don't have the ticket for the revival. He said, just come, I will send you the ticket. I went to the, to the revival. Then Pastor Nile said, I saw your goal. I saw what you displayed on your shirt. And that thing you displayed will work for you. He prayed with me, then he took me to daddy. The first statement daddy said was that, is that, that your football is only people that score they see now. And in my heart, I said, Amen. And that was the end of the story. My club that was really struggling for education, we moved from that zone, I will stay in the league. I just want to give up the... Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we join our brother and celebrate the hand of God? The power of God revealed.